today i played the most underrated zombie today i played the most lackluster zombies map ever made farm it, it's so boring playing this map spawning in i'm not gonna lie this is literally about 90 percent of the map there's only one door which I, this is why i hate this map it's so boring to play and then while knifing a zombie i literally just i don't even know what happened i i died in run one i mean my first time of course we don't accept that and we immediately fast restarted round one and two just consists of me maximizing my points with my m1911 and knifing the zombies of course and i oh ah! and then i almost get double swiped by these two zombies could you imagine if i died on round two again on round three i do decide to open up this door so i can get jug of course and also i need the mp5 because there's literally no gun except for the olympia i'm pretty sure in spawn so i have to basically open up the door. i'm never buying the olympia in my entire life wait just a minute now that i think about it i bought the olympia in transit no! In round 4, of course, I buy Quaker Revive because of bad memories. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we all can understand why I buy Juggernaut here. And if you don't understand, okay, I'll give you a few reasons. One, you're too hit down in this game. Alright, that's why we already hate the older games. And two, uh, you already should know the second reason. Also, on this map, I don't like how there's no backup power! I mean, seriously, if you're gonna make a survival map like Bus Depot or Farm, at least make it like Tunnel where there's at least pack a punch, please! In round six, I get a, a max ammo, which allows me to spam the crap out of the zombies with my ammo 1911, letting me build up my points, which is awesome. And of course, because I was spamming the crap out of my zombies and I got double points, I was able to get the guava knuckles, which means I can fly through these first 13 rounds, which is amazing. The guava knuckles have to be like one of my most favorite melee weapons, if not my most favorite. It probably is my favorite. There's not really another melee weapon that beats it because the Bowie knife. I mean, it's iconic. I'd put it as my number two spot, but the Guava Knuckles are just so good. Especially on Die Rise. On round seven, I decided to buy Double Tap 2.0 because my logic was I don't really need Speed Cola right now because I'm just going to be spamming my Guava Knuckles on the zombies till 13. So really reloading a gun's not gonna do anything because I mean what am I gonna reload the guava knuckles and double tabs just way more useful anyways but I did decide to buy speed cola anyways at the end of round seven just because I had enough points after literally spamming the crap out of my guava knuckles plus I got a double point so I just started hitting the box for the ray gun spoiler alert I never got the ray gun I don't know why it's so rare on this map but I never got it so that's great I did get the ballistic knife though, which I'm pretty sure is the fastest mobility in the game other than the MP5. I'm not really sure what the stats are. I assume you run faster with the ballistic knife though. Cause I mean, yeah, apparently holding out a knife makes you run faster according to game logic. And basically what I would do, I didn't really know the strategy at all. So I would just go to hit the mystery box so I could try to get the ray gun at the start of every round. I would want to speed up these rounds as fast as possible. I was basically training that area down there, and that's really it. Not really much else to it. And then I would kill the zombies with whatever gun I had because the Glavo Neko stopped working after 13, of course. They're two shot kill, so it's unsafe to use them. I don't know what it was, though. The FAL was actually killing zombies, which is crazy. It's probably because I had double tap, to be honest with you, but I have never seen an FAL actually kill zombies on round 17 on Pack a Punch. Not really sure what happened here, though. I just kind of down instantly. I had an EMP grenade and I threw it. I don't know if that took like all my health away. And also a funny thing about the EMP. I tried to EMP the zombie so I could get the ray gun. And I had a max ammo, right? Um, I kind of ended up EMPing the max ammo. And I didn't know that. It just made it disappear. On round 22, I went down again. And there's really nothing I could have done. I just got trapped. I somehow made it through that gap. But then got swiped again and died. Sorry for the shorter video, there's nothing really I can say about farm other than it's such a bad map.